Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Warlocks vs. Shadows. This game is an action RPG brawler developed by Frozen District, and it is pretty awesome. Um, I've been playing it for quite a while now. I've had um, I've had some time with it. Uh, the game released recently on Steam. Um, I believe it was uh, August 19th, so by the time you're seeing this, it's obviously definitely been released. Um, so I've had some time. Um, I'm going to show you guys what it's all about. Uh, we're going to jump right into story mode. Um, there are versus modes. There's co-op and um, and uh, there's the horde mode, as you can see here. Um, much. Uh, I'll take a look at the options really quick. Resolution, not much to it. Full screen or windowed. I'm not going to change it because it'll screw up the, the recording. Um, I have my music and F F SFX volumes uh, turned a bit down so you can kind of hear me while I go through everything. Keyboard controls, you can configure everything. Um, the only problem is I am using a controller. So, yeah, uh, I can't change those buttons. Um, but everything's pretty straightforward. There's not much to it as far as controls go. Um, but I'm going to jump right into a single player story mode. Uh, I created a new profile, profile, so everything is going to start out from the beginning. Um, so there's no like spoilers or anything from, from the story, because the story is pretty cool. Um, so right off the bat, we have a few different characters to choose from. And then as we progress, you can unlock more and more characters. Um, but for now, uh, as you can see, you have some pretty diverse, uh, a pretty diverse set of characters here. Uh, shaman, warrior, ice mistress, pyromancer, and a guardian and uh, wizard. Um, each have their own special unique abilities and play play uh, fairly differently from each other. Um, I'm gonna start out, we'll just start out with uh, Jake. He's probably my favorite. He's pretty easy to use um, and pretty straightforward. Uh, so we will get going with that. The basis of the game is uh, oh, this is this is the tutorial level here, so it's just gonna we're gonna have to go through all these, so all my different abilities that I have: dashes, firewall, fireballs, and then meteor, meteor rain, I guess. So there we go, on to the actual chapter one, the first mission we have, or first level we have. So as you can see, the game um, is pretty, you know, it plays out pretty much like um, uh, heavy, uh, what, what's that game that I'm thinking of that I can't think of right now off the top of my head? Uh, Risk of Rain, yes, that that's the game I'm thinking of. The, the the movements and the, the graphics are very much like that. So, basically, here I am. I am a warlock, and I am fighting these shadow monsters. They are trying to take over the world. And I will level up some of my skills here. So the game has a lot of variety when it comes to, you know, picking and choosing your class and and then the enemy variety. As you go on, it will um, it will vary. You'll get get some stronger enemies, some more diverse enemies than just these like these guys that just come up to you and try to hit you. And these little like almost Zerg, almost Baneling like things like StarCraft, it, they remind me of the Banelings, um, where you will, uh, they'll explode and you'll take a massive damage. Like that. But, um, yeah, the, the, so each level is set out in, um, in waves, as you can see I'm on the eighth wave right here in the top right corner. And there we go, I just beat the first level. Make our way over to the portal, and we get our 
special screen, kill, uh, kill screen, if you will. Um, so basically, there are there are a few worlds. So each, as you can see, when I, when I start the level, uh, up in the top, I have the uh, stage one dash two. It goes to seven for this one. Um, and then there's there's a boss at the end of the end of the world, if you will. Um, oh, I get to level up again. Let's level up our dash ability because that is pretty strong. So the bosses are actually pretty cool. And they are actually, they're really hard, <laughs> at least uh, from what I have gathered so far, but as you know, I'm terrible at games, so you know, it takes me a while to get through things. It took a while to get used to the controls, especially on the controller, because like I said uh, before, there's no key bindings or, or button bindings for um, for that, so it took me a while to kind of like just get used to it without being prompted for anything. Um, so I, I wonder if, they, if they'll maybe later patch in some stuff for uh, for that for people using controllers. But it definitely I, I've tried out the the keyboard and I've tried out um, the controller, and the controller definitely plays a lot easier. Uh, than the keys, for me at least. Just drop a firewall there. Whoa, I just took a lot of damage, so I'm gonna heal up. Now, uh, after this level, we'll just move on and um, we'll try out some other warlocks you can see. a meteor dance uh, as you can see it's it's very risky to do the meteor dance because you can you just kind of stay stationary and have to basically just take hits until until you want to give up on it I like the the dash uh, kind of like raining down fire all right, so these are the last two guys. There we go. And we get a little treasure because we have, um, we get some loot. And I got some armor, awesome. Uh, one thing I will say, the, the pixel art is top notch. It's really, really cool. I love it. Um, Let's uh, let's change our warlock to uh, let's go with Rainer. Rainer. Uh, he is kind of like a I don't know what to call him. Rogue-ish. With a little bit of magic in him. All right, let's move on to the first level uh, once again, and then after this, I'll show you one more warlock, and we'll we'll uh, we'll wrap it up. There's you know there's so many to unlock, and there's just so many with different abilities. It's it's it's, it's uh it's definitely definitely cool. And um, if I had some other people with the game, I would definitely be playing it because this is definitely something me and my friends would uh, would love to, to to play together. Easy enough. So yeah, each each warlock really has a, a, a really unique play style. As you can see, I'm just like all over the place with Rainer. Uh, and I'm actually probably gonna die soon. 
which would be pretty embarrassing. Oh. There we go. Kill them. Anyway, all right. Let's uh, let's change our warlock here. You get the the main gist of him, uh, and then finally let's go with Bormar, the bugbear warrior. He's the tank of the group. We just demonstrated all his abilities. Um, I would. The soundtrack to it, to this game, is really cool. The only thing is, it gets a bit repetitive, um, especially you know playing level after level after level of the same music over and over again. And Borobar is pretty straightforward as far as uh, his abilities go. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, kill the Banelings before they explode. And these are the last two here. Oh, no, actually this is the last wave. Sorry about that. Oh crud. No! There we go. And we are done. So, that's basically it for the game. Um, as you level up and uh, you know progress more levels, things get a bit harder, a bit more crazy, a bit more hectic. Um, like I said, the game would be super fun in co-op, uh, super fun in like versus mode where you're fighting each other. Um, but the game is called Warlocks vs. Shadows. The game has released on Steam. You can go pick it up. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, so thanks for watching and head on over to IndieJuice.tv to uh, check out a more in-depth review of the game. And I hope to see you guys out there. Thanks for watching.